Hello there. There's flowers about coming your way today on the Mo concept. Today we are going to learn about the relative molar mass in the Bugatti's constant. Relative molar mass of any substance is the mass of any substance which contains 6.02 times 10 raised to the power 23 particles of that substance. It is the same as the molar mass, but it has no unit. I've got this constant or number. There is the number of particles or entities in one mole of any substance. The particles include atom molecules, ions, etc. The value is 6.02 times 10 raised to the power 23. Its SI unit is particle per mole with a symbol capital L. So mathematically, mole or amount of substance is equal to the mass of substance, which is small m, all over the molar mass of substance, which is the capital M. Okay. That's what we want to see how we can solve some of the questions. So here's the question. The first one, what is the number of moles in 23 grams of CaCO3? All right, so you can see the bracket there. Now the bracket there, they have given us the relative atomic masses. So we can use that one to calculate for the molar mass. And then when we are done, then we use it to solve the question. All right, so the first one, they've solved it for us. So let's see how they did it. So N, which is small N, that is the mode of a substance equal to the mass of substance, small m, all over the molar mass of substance. All right, so our first task is to solve for the molar mass of the substance because we know the mass, which is 23 grams, but we don't know the molar mass of CaCO3. So we have to solve that one. When we get that one there, we put it at the appropriate place and then we solve it. So molar mass is called 40 plus 12 plus 16 times 3 because there are three oxygen atoms there. So in all they will get or we got 100 grams per mole. Alright, so that's for the molar mass. So when we are done, then we come and put it into our formula. What is moles or amount of substance, which is n, small n is equal to 23 grams all over 100 grams per mole and then the grams will cancel each other leaving only the mole so we get 0 0.23 mole all right so this is very, very simple so uh, the, with the rest you just follow through the same procedure and then we do it all right, so let's look at something. Let's look at the key. I, I'm not actually going to call this key, but how we can change subject the formula to that part where they solve it. All right, so the first one that we have is N is equal to small m over capital M. All right, so that's the first one. And if you don't know, you can just go back to the video and learn how or what these symbols represent. The small n represent the mole, and the small m represent the mass, and the capital M represent the molar mass. All right, so the next one, we have capital M is equal to small m over n, or small n. The next one, we have small m is equal to small n, multiplying capital M. So that is the, that's the last one. All right, so let's move on to the question and solve the first one. Calculate the number of moles present in 35 grams of ion metal. So into bracket, the relative atomic mass of the ion metal is 56. All right, so let's see how we can solve that. So we have N is equal to M over M, capital M. So it is very, very straightforward. 
we just put the numbers in and then we just solve it. So we have 35 grams all over 56 grams per mole. And the grams will cancel each other, leaving us with 0 0.625 mole. Number two. What is the mass of 0 0.80 mole of Na2CO3? And they have given us the relative atomic masses. Sodium is 23, carbon is 12, oxygen is 16. All right, so let's see how we can solve that one. So we don't know M, so M is, we are looking for M, is that okay? The small M, the mass, we don't know the mass, so we are looking for the mass. The N or the small N is 0 0.80 mole. Molar mass 2, they didn't give us, so let us solve for the molar mass of Na2CO3. All right, so molar mass of Na2CO3 will be called the 23 times 2 plus 12 plus 16 times 3 which is equal to 46 plus 12 plus 48, and then we'll get 106 grams per mole. Now, let us come and put it into our formula. So I gave you the key because we are solving for the mass. So you need to make the mass the subject. So the general formula we have, small n is equal to small m over capital M. So if we are to make the mass of subject will get mass is equal to the norm, uh, the mole or the n small m multiplying the molar mass. So we are going to get m is equal to 0 0.80 times 106. So our mass will be 84.8 grams. All right, number three. If the mass in grams in 0 0.1 mole of a compound is 10 grams, find the molar mass of the compound. Now, let's see, whenever you get a question, can you just look at a question? First of all, you can see mole there, you can see grams. So whenever you see the mole, you already know that that is the amount of substance. So they've given you the N already. The N is 0 0.1. And then you have 10 grams, so whatever, it's coming with a gram, you know that that one is mass. So they've given you the N and the small m. Is that okay? So find the molar mass of the compound. So our task is to just find the molar mass of the compound, and that's all. So compound, which is unknown, is equal to N over M over capital M. So we have to make the molar mass the subject, then we get Molar mass is equal to mass over N, or amount of substance. So molar mass is equal to 10, 10 grams all over 0 0.1 mole. So molar mass is equal to 100 grams per mole, because that is the unit of the molar mass. To the last question. Given that the molar mass of NaHCO3 is 84 grams per mole, calculate the amount of substance in 4.2 grams of the substance. Is that okay? So calculate the amount of substance in 4.2 grams of the substance, which is NaHCO3. All right, so this one is very, very straightforward. They've already given you the molar mass. They're also giving you the grams or the mass itself. So you can just solve it straight away. But all the same, let us just try to solve the molar mass once again and see if we will get the 84 grams per mole. All right, so mass is equal to 84 grams per mole. The, the molar mass, the molar mass is 84 grams per mole. The N 
we don't know we are looking for that one and then the mass itself is 4.2 grams we are okay the mass is 4.2 grams all right so molar mass of nahco3 20 23 plus 1 plus 12 plus 16 times 3 and then when we multiply it, we we'll get 84 grams per mole. So it's like we still got the same as some. Now let's just put it straight away into the formula. So we get N is equal to small m over capital M. Which is 4.2 grams over 84 grams per mole. So the grams will cancel each other. Leaving with the mole, and we get N is equal to 0 0.05 mole. All right, so that is it for today and uh, let's put the answers against the questions and the first one you get 0 0.625 more the next one we got 84.8 grams the next one we got 100 grams per mole and the last one, we go 0 0.05 more. All right, so that is it for today. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments. Uh, share the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, you can visit our website also for detailed notes on this topic, no concept. We have a lot of notes on our website, sciencehiseblogspot.com. And um, feel free to ask any question if you have. Share the video to tell friends to subscribe to our channel. May the spirit that I saw and adios and Keep on practicing.